Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Sean and I'm from the Iris Hub and BNJ team. Hopefully you're watching this because of GON. If you don't know what that is yet, it is a fun developer contest held by the Interchain Foundation and BNJ and supported by many Cosmos teams. So in this workshop video, I will walk you through the basics of our cross-chain NFT transfer protocol ICS721 as well as a simple demonstration of how to transfer interchain NFTs. The codes and scripts we use for the demo will be published with this video. You can check them out later in our channels. Now let's begin our demonstration. The code we use for the demo can be found on GitHub under Iris Hub. And the branch we use is 1.4.1 GON testnet. The cross-chain protocol we use is called NFT transfer, which is developed by Bianjie and also can be found on GitHub. These are all open source now. The current version is 1.1.1 beta. Next, we will demonstrate how to use NFT transfer on blockchains built with Cosmos SDK. Now, first of all, in app.go under module basics, we need to integrate NFT transfers app module basic. Then we will add IPC NFT transfer types dot store key. One important thing to know is that to use the NFT transfer protocol, you must already have an existing NFT module. This is because the NFT transfer protocol only cares for the cross-chain functionality and does not support the NFT's life cycle, such as minting, transferring, burning, those things. Therefore, you will need an NFT module before you can start making NFT transfers using this NFT transfer module. In our de demonstration code, we will use the NFT module from iris.mode, which is also implemented with Iris Hub. The, NF the NFT module on Ar Iris Hub is based on one of the NFT implementation from Cosmos SDK. Then make sure we have the code for NFT transfer. Here, please be mindful that for IBC NFT transfer, you must implement a series of interface as shown here. The interface is defined by NFT transfer protocol and it has eight methods. All of them are related to NFT operations on its data, such as um, creating a new NFT class, minting a new NFT, transfer, burn, um, get owners and other informations, etc. And again, these methods need to be implemented by the users um, and your NFT module will call these methods for managing the life cycle of any um, NFTs you have. And here in IBC router, we will add the route for processing cross-chain data packet. The integration itself is fairly simple and it is the same as integrating with other modules. You will register the IBC NFT transfer module in the module itself and for begin block and end block, since there are empty implementation in NFT transfer, meaning it is non mandatory to register. Um, you can either register or not register, it does not really matter. Now we will use a script to build two blockchains that we will later use to make cross chain NFT transfers. Um, the code was previously prepared, so we just 
simply copy and paste it here. Um, this process would take normally 30 to 50 seconds. You can fast forward while you're watching the video. Here we go. It is now building two blockchains. Uh, one is named test one and the other is test two. And there's going to be a relayer um, in between and it's and establishing the IBC channel. Okay, it should be done by now. Now let's check the status of the channel. First, we will check on test one. Then um, let's check test two. Great, now we have created the both the blockchains and we can move on to make uh, cross-chain transfers. Now we'll create an NFT class on test one um, still using our pre-written script. And let's quickly check the status using the query command. Looks like it is completed. Now we will mint an NFT under the class that we just created. Let's query again. Yep, it's done. Now we will perform a cross chain NFT transfer um, on the NFT that we just created. can see that the transaction is now submitted 
and the relayer is going to receive the transaction message and it will send a message receive packet and an update client packet to test 2. In the meantime, um, the relayer will send an ACK confirmation back to test 1. Now let's check if the cross-chain transaction was made successfully um, to test 2. Before we run the check, um, we need to know the NFT's class um, ID on test 2. Since currently there's no only one class um, exists on test 2, I'll just simply run all the classes and it should give me the one I need. Whoops, this is from test one. Now let's switch to test two. Here, we can see that this is the class ID um, from test two that was generated just now. Then we will use this class ID to find the NFT that we just transferred. Awesome, we can now see the NFT is now su successfully transferred to test two. Um, and the recipient address is the same as the address we put in the script. And let's get back to the query. After the transfer, the NFT on test one will still exist. However, it will be locked uh, according to the NFT transfer protocol The owner address is actually um, an address managed by NFT transfer protocol. And we can verify this real quick. Um, to simply explain this command, this is for finding the escrow address for the NFT transfer module under channel zero. We can see that the two addresses are identical, um, which means the NFT we just transferred out is now locked under this channel. Now, lastly, uh, let's transfer this NFT from test two back to test one. Similarly, we are going to using the script and check the relayer. Received update client packet and a message received packet. Similarly, test one will send an ACK to test two, claiming that an empty now is received. Um, let's quickly verify it using the same command, uh, see if the transfer has been made on test 2. Yep, we can see that the NFT now is released on test 2 and cannot be found. Then let's check it out on the source chain again, which is test 1. And ex as expected, the owner has become the address that we put in the command script. And this way, we have completed the whole cross-chain transfer. And that concludes our demonstration today. That was everything from today's workshop, and I hope you liked it.
Please don't forget to follow us and stay tuned for more information and videos in the future. I will see you soon.